reading for the second time is the Mental Health Amendment Bill 2017, and it's been brought forward by Fianna Fáil. It has a lot of contribution that's gone into the bill by mental health reform who are in the gallery today who would like to thank them for all the support that they have given to uh, Fianna Fáil and particularly to Deputy James Brown for um, spearheading this bill or, uh, this and, uh, and uh, bringing it to this stage. Uh, so for that, Gur Mahogat. Um, Fianna Fáil, in agreeing to facilitate a minority government, inserted into the confidence and supply agreement a condition that a vision for change would be fully implemented within the lifetime of the government. A vision for change, as we know, um, a vision for change was developed um, under the Fianna Fáil government as a strategy document and sets out the direction for mental, mental health services in Ireland. Since 2001, our understanding of mental health and the rights of people with mental health difficulties have advanced. In particular, we have had the UN Convention of the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, to which Ireland is a signatory. We need to change now how we look at acts of the Oireachtas that affect people's rights so they can be viewed as, as living acts and they can be readily amended to understand and how to, to reflect how we live our lives, and how, um, both physically and emotionally. And from the outset, I would just like to echo my disappointment at yesterday's budget in relation to mental health funding. And I'm disappointed that the full amount of 35 million was not secured and that the amount was hidden within other amounts and comes to less than 15 million, I understand. Um, the Mental Health, Me Mental health Amendment Bill 2017, which Fianna Fáil is bringing forward, seeks to implement some of the recomm recommendations contained in the 2015 report of the expert group on the review of the Mental Health Act 2001. The bill was passed by the Dáil in July this year, and it will deliver, and it will deliver immediate improvements and legislative, legislative protections for adults and children accessing acute mental health services. It will also contribute in some part to the Irish Government's fulfilment fulfilment of international human rights law, including the European Convention on Human Rights and the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities.